With everything going on, I cannot believe I forgot to make the video about the junk box. What's a junk box, you ask? Well, I guess you're going to have to wait till after the intro. Now, what's the junk box, you ask? Well, in my Facebook group, we have a large flat rate box that we send from member to member to member. Now, inside this box is a mix of super common items, a few what we call premium items, which are the higher dollar ones, and everybody just gets a turn taking some stuff out, replacing it with even better stuff. Now, are you ready to see what I got? Because it's pretty cool. First things first, I picked up a couple of NES titles. I got Spy Hunter and I got Turbo Racing. They're super common, but for some reason around here, you just can't find them. So I'm happy to pick those up. I got a Sega CD title, AX101. I'm super excited to see what it's about. And then somehow, I didn't have Super Mario Galaxy or Dark Cloud. So it's really exciting that my wife's gonna get to play both of those. She's been looking forward to those. There's also a tier inside of it called the premium items. Now for every premium item you take, you're supposed to put a premium item back. A premium item obviously is the higher tier stuff, and this stuff is the stuff that's basically $30 or more. So the first premium item I took was Mickey's Castle of Illusion, and really happy to play it because all Mickey games are fun. I got a pretty cool Sega poster, so that'll be something else I can stick up on the wall. I picked up Mario and Luigi's Superstar Saga. This is a not for resale, so that's kind of cool. I didn't have the game, so I had to grab it. Picked up a really fun Sailor Moon import game. Picked up a couple of strategy guides. Got Battlefield 2 and Sunset Overdrive. I don't have either one of these games, so now I have an excuse to buy them, and I've got the guides for them when I do. And lastly, but definitely not least, I picked up two more premium items. One of them is Lightning Force for the Sega Genesis. Any chance I get to pick up something for the Sega, I'm always looking for it because I just neglect my Sega too much. I gotta play it more. And the last one, and this was the big one, and it's kind of funny that we call it the junk box because when you've got things like Conker's Bad Fur Day in it, can you really call it a junk box anymore? But yes, I got my Conkers, and I'm super, super excited about that because I've never had the opportunity to buy it. It's always been just massively overpriced everywhere I go. So now I can finally play it and see what everybody goes on and on about. And that's our junk box. So I really wanted to make this just so everybody would be aware that things like this can happen and they can work if you have a trustworthy small group of people. I was number 18 or so by the time it came to me. There's been five or six more people. And as time goes on, the box just keeps getting better and better and better. So honestly, I can't wait till it's time for me to have round two to see it again. Guys, in the comments below, tell me, does your group do something like this? If not, why not? And do you want to see more videos like this? You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Help us all grow together. It's a wonderful community. Until next time, this is Gizmo. Later.